right, folks, back at it again. We're going to do another review of my buddy from uh, Florida, Ian, and he is going to be catching stone crabs today, which I've never caught a stone crab, but these dudes have some huge claws. And, uh, you know, I, I've got to get over there to visit him and help him pull some of these traps because, one, I've never tasted a stone crab, and I want to. Uh, looking at their claws, and apparently that's all you keep. You you don't break it down and clean it like you do a blue crab. All you do is keep the claws. They'll nip them off, and then they'll they'll let them go, and they'll regrow those claws. On a blue crab video that I did, I was asking Glenn when we were catching the blue crabs, one was missing a claw, and I said, "Hey, will they regenerate a claw like stone crabs do?" He said, "Well, I don't know." Well, I looked when I cleaned that crab, and sure enough, there was a claw that was regenerating. So the answer to that question is, yes, blue crabs will regenerate claws. Uh, but we're going to be looking at stone crabs in Florida today. So without further ado, Ian, take it away, brother. We got the truck loaded down with them wishard wire crab traps. This is Harold's boat, set up almost for crabbing and shrimping. That's why we take it to the boat, not mine. Love those Carolina skills. In the water for them delicious stone crabs. Stone crabs are so expensive in the state of Florida, I can't even afford to buy them. The only way I get to eat them is go out and catch them myself. Guys, I got one for you today. You know Harold, Wishard Wire. We're out here. It is October 5th. Or we can put our stone crab traps in the water today. And then on the 15th, we can pull them. So we're prepping for stone crab season. Of course, we're dropping those Wishard Wire traps. Y'all are coming. Wait a second. That, that, that storm came through there. Milton came through there coming along then we're gonna hit it back to the 15th hopefully we got some delicious stone crab All right. just like that y'all y'all remember this tilapia from us shrimping the other night waste well, not want not that goes in the stone crab bait. trap bait absolutely yeah. hopefully we're gonna turn it in some some very expensive and very delicious stone crabs. But can it catch though? Can it catch? <laughs> Luke. Luke. <laughs> He's going in the crab trap, y'all. You think it's gonna catch? I don't know, we'll see. I've heard they're nasty. I bet, I'm interested to see a skeleton when it's all, you know, gone, but. Thing's a dinosaur. Armored catfish. Thing was living two hours after we caught it in the bucket when I was putting it in the refrigerator. But it's definitely dead now, and it's going in the salt water, just so you know. Always make sure your ropes aren't tangled when it goes down. It's a good way to lose a trap. When I talk about nothing goes to waste, we've been saving carcasses Dang. all year for this, y'all. That's a big piece of bait there. Can... Amberjack. It fits. Can it catch? One. And just like that, we got an empty boat. All right, guys. We just pulled up two the trap house this is the wishard wired headquarters we're gonna walk in and have a quick little look look at this y'all look at all wow. the colors of wire you can get this is where all the magic happens all the traps are made the crab lab the crab lab <laughs> hey, harold's actually making me some fresh traps um not because i needed new traps but you know it's always nice to have freshies. Say hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> I want you guys to look at all these traps, y'all. You can get all kinds of cool color combinations. You got green and black, pink and purple. We got pink and purple. That's a favorite of mine. I'm really liking this blue and gray with some black right here. Those are pretty That's cool. blue, gray, white. Uh, it's a good way to identify. Um, you can see right here where he paints his irons. And this is an important part about Harold's traps is he paints the irons and he puts them 
on the inside of the wire right there. Ah. So if you've got like a flat spot or something like that and you don't want to bang up your gel coat, you're not rubbing that rebar on your gel coat. It's just the, the coated wire that touches your boat. It's a really nice feature that he does. These ones. This, these custom color traps are pretty cool. I mean, I think I may order some of these from him because look, uh, I can pretty well say yeah, I can pick out custom colors and where I set traps, if I come back and they're gone, uh, I can see that somebody has stolen my traps if I see them on somebody else's boat. Hmm, pretty interesting. Um, and look, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video. You need to, if you have not gone over and liked Tug Trash Outdoors, that's Ian's channel, you need to go like his channel. He's the original creator of this content, and uh, I'm going to make sure that Ryan puts a link to Wishard Wire uh, Crab Traps because these are some cool traps. I, I I don't know what he would charge me to ship them, but I'm sure I could find out. Right here are for me. They're working on them now. These Econo Traps are a really good option. Um, he sells these cheaper than these ones. I don't know exact prices. They just have the two funnels. They're a single stack. They are a really great option if you're trying to get out there on a budget. Got anything else you want to tell the people? That's it. Give me a call. What's your number? 904-615-4180. Don't call them in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one who, who makes Secretly, all the traps. Secretly, <laughs> the heart and soul of Wishard Wire. Little man, what are you doing? Uh oh, don't run away from me. He doesn't want to be on camera. Oh no, oh, he's shooting you're practicing his boat. your arch. You shoot a big buck this year? Nice. That was a good shot. <laughs> if you're wondering, these aren't the only colors. These are the colors he has right now. Just give you guys some ideas. He's like, I got green, some blue, some black. Like That's dark gray. green, pink. There's red back That's there, gray yellow, That's gray, nice. purple. Yeah white i'd have to and get that, that black that, and that gold stuff that's for the uh the bait but he can get any color you want so just ask him we normally have orange as well. and they normally got orange just about any color you can think of give him an ask he'll buy a roll of it i also want to point out he's using riverdale wire wire there that's uh american made top quality oh, best stuff on the market what's that what you got oh that's his target oh i thought it was your helmet <laughs> Well, it's opening morning, October 15th. We're gonna go pull our stone crab traps. I think they've had what a, whatever it is, a 10 day soak, seven day wow. soak. First day that you can actually pull them. Hopefully we eat some stone crabs tonight. Morning. Well, morning. Do you do uh, hey, YouTube? You do, you're tug trash, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I, I told you guys, I was like, I know that guy. What is it, tug trash? Huh? Tug trash, he, yeah, he's out. Yes, sir. Harold Bouchard. Sorry. Recognize you. Man, you guys got to get used to it. You're going to get recognized. <laughs> <laughs> you guys going fishing today? But well, good luck, guys. Thanks, ain't it? Good Take luck, it easy. Guys. Enjoy your stuff. Thank you, guys. That's cool. The man, the myth, the legend. Ready? Yeah. Now we have had a major weather event between when we put these traps out and now. Hurricane Milton did not directly hit us by any means, but we, we got some surge from it. We are a little bit worried that uh, some of our buoys, some of our traps may have been drug off in the tide. What'll happen is get that super high tide and it'll go over your buoy and then the current will drag it out into deeper water. Now we did set, we left ourselves a good bit of uh, leeway, but we'll see. Did we? Is this them over here? Unless, it might have been the world. Well, it might have. Yeah. Well, we're already missing two or three three we're already I missing one. three traps that we had out near the main channel and thinking the hurricane flood tide plus current and wind 
drug them off. Now the tide is kind of high right now. I we do have an opportunity to come back at a low, low tide and try to find them. No, we put two in here, I thought. There's one in front There's of one. it. Oh, we did? Pulling up on the first trap that we can find. Kind of a bummer. Yeah, those traps aren't cheap. It's crazy. And they're labor intensive to make. Just in that quick amount of time. All right. We got nothing but catfish. Dang it. Free bait. Try not to make a mess, but I guess that ain't gonna happen. All right. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Finally. All right. That'll make you feel a little bit better right there. I want you just to look how ginormous that one is. That's a good size one. Yeah. We got a bunch of these little spade fish. And what's cool is I actually just got a saltwater tank. You guys are going to see that soon. Maybe next time we could take these and put them in my tank. Look at that, y'all. That is a monster. Look at those claws. <laughs> He's spicy this morning, but that is a That's stud a stone crab. That's what we came for, y'all. It's a nice one there, but his tip of his claw is kind of gnarly. I don't know how that'll do. It'll still eat. That'll eat, though. I was a little discouraged about our missing traps, but I know a guy. He builds <laughs> traps for a living. Wishard Wire. Put his phone number here. Call him. You get these traps, they catch blue crabs and stone crabs. All right, let's see. What do we got? One, two, three stone crabs in here. They're not monsters, but uh, they'll do, I think. Let's see. Sometimes, if you grab them quick, before they can uh, snatch onto your your uh, trap, that's a little trick. That's a little guy there. We'll check him real quick. These wishard wire uh, measuring gauges, you can zip tie on if you're just one-handed it makes it real easy to measure that one's not going to be legal it'll go back back in the drink you go a life in there some, some we got a bunch of uh a bunch of catfish a toadfish and a number of crabs this trap has not been gone into a little spade I'm just going to empty these ones like that. All right. All right, Ian. Here's a question for you. If you're watching this, <clears throat> you can throw it in the comments. You can comment back to me. Um, I'm guessing soaking traps for 10 days, surely they eat everything out of that bait well in that time. But the fish that are in there, the, surely they're cannibalizing fish that are getting in that trap as well. And that keeps them in there because uh, can't they find their way back out? But as long as they've got something in there to eat, I can see them staying. All right, back to the video. There's an Ian question. That's for you, Tug. All right. Everybody likes free bait, but ah, look at that. That's a nice crab, y'all. Nice. We had three in that one. Oh yeah, you you keeping that. That one's got a legal claw. That's a good one right there too. Hit her at the first little. So I guess one of the new traps. Yeah, I guess y'all are rebaiting them and putting two them back. Stone huh? crabs and a baby sheep's head. That'd be cool in a fish tank, but it would be illegal. So we're gonna put them back in. Here we go. Yellow boo. It's pretty deep. We got a flounder. A flounder? Darn it. We got two flounder. <laughs> Today is the, uh, the close of the season. A blue crab. I don't want that blue crab, do you? Nope, not one. Got a flounder. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Flatfish. Good eat. Put him back. The season just closed. This one wouldn't have been legal. That's a fat little one. Here we go. Crabs. Oh, wow. This one's probably our best trap of the day. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone crabs in this trap. We've got a couple of catfish, which is just free bait for us. We didn't bring any bait with us, so it actually is a blessing. I think this is our last trap. Oh, oh yeah, holy, holy cow. Last trap of the day turned out to be the truth. There's wow. one, two, three, four, five, six, six big, big stone crabs. Look at the claw on that one. I think we did all right. Even losing half our traps to weather or thieves or whatever happened to them, I think we did all right here. We're gonna stop, pop some claws and uh, see what we got. So there's, we ran our string of traps and there's what we got. Now we're gonna stop and pop our claws we don't do it it's just they're so close together we just do it like this look how big these claws are Dude, on you, some of these crabs you can't grab a super blue nice, crab like that super nice haul of crabs here show them that one harold that's the big boy right there that's old big dog he's strong all right we got to do a little bit of work i'm gonna show you how we measure one and pop one and then i'll show you all the claws afterwards okay now i can obviously tell these claws are good, but I'll just show you. It's from the immovable part, the bottom right here of his claw to the tip of his claw. It has to be two and seven eighths. That one's good by about an inch. Then what we do is there's guys that can pop them and there's guys that do the knife trick. We take a little nip right here and they just drop that claw when you nip it, just like that. And he will regrow. He will regrow that because the socket is not broken. Cool. So only thing you can eat part of, put it back in the water, and it'll regrow, and you can eat it again. Super sustainable. Give you guys cool little thing. So this is an original claw. And that's a regrowth claw. So he's somebody's harvested a claw off him, and he's regrown. Measure them. That's a good one. We'll just get it right in there like that. Good claw and his little regrowth will go back. Show him that biggest crab of the day. That That's guy. a big dog. Right wow. there. That's what they call Dude. a colossal. Yes, sir. Doing it right. Look at him. We actually almost have a limit. So the limit is two gallons. Perfect. We have almost a limit of claws there. And that's probably eight to 10 pounds. Look at that claw right there. That is a monster stone crab claw. That probably weighs half pound i bet i bet that's 40 in a restaurant that'd be like 60 bucks and if okay ian another question for you um are you putting the do, do those need to go on ice once you harvest them like that you're just putting them in in the bucket so that you can say okay this is where i know my limit is before you go to an ice chest and hell you may show me that in the video here if you want to go catch your own wishard wire co traps there's the phone number that's the guy who's going to answer the phone y'all give him a call we're going to take these home and cook them up so we just did some looking oh there's the other one. Oh, they found we're some. i don't know an eighth of a mile down from where our traps were and we found them the current drug them. Glad we did a little bit of looking. We let that tide come down. Sweet. Folks, I say it a lot. People think their crabs, their traps got stolen. A lot of times the current drags them off. You know, you just got to be mindful. Go look around. I'm not saying people don't steal them. It's a huge problem here in St. Augustine. Crazy how far these things were drugged by the tide. Just goes to show, you know, be careful about where you're setting too. Do not set in super high current, you know?
couple of toad fish, but at least we got our trap back. Oh, so we did end up finding two of the traps that we lost. It's pretty sweet, you know, because as you know, those traps, you get about a hundred bucks into each one after they're all rigged out and everything. I used to get those back. And we got almost a limit of stone crabs. Not too shabby. Let's see if the dogs are here. Oh, hi puppies. What is that? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Oh, come on, let's go potty. We're gonna cook these up, y'all. You do not refrigerate your stone crabs. Ah. You just go home and cook them immediately. Boy, them bad boys out there in my sink. And I don't really clean them, but I'll rinse them off just a little bit. And I'm gonna get a pot of water boiling here. That is looking like dinner, y'all. Salted water at a rolling boil. We're gonna go in with our claws. Pour them all in there at once. It's gonna, hopefully I measured my water right. I can get all these things into here. I got that same pot, Ian. Oh Lord. I'm gonna boil these for seven minutes. Well, maybe eight. There's a lot in here. Look at them moving from the heat. All right, seven minutes. I've made a proper mess because I should have <laughs> used my bigger pot here, but I'm going to take these and pour them out my sink. What I'm going to do, start cooling them off. Stop the cook. So what we want to do is stop this cooking process. Yep. Dump some ice down in there. Get those things cooled on off. Look at these bad boys, y'all. That does look awesome. That's a lot yeah, to me. Beautiful claw right there. That's a big claw. That's like brim fillet. We're going to make a quick little mustard sauce for our stone crabs. That's Duke's. The only mayo that exists in my life and the only mayo that should exist in your life. All <laughs> other mayos just don't compare. So we're doing like, I got like maybe a quarter cup of mayo and a solid tablespoon of Dijon and a little Lee and Perron wash your sister sauce. Just like that much. A half a lime. Traditional would be lemon. But I like limes. You're you all just mix about up. those limes. Mm, I'm so excited to eat stone crab. I know we need. Let's eat outside. It's nice when the lawn guy gets done. Okay. Look who we have, Miss Congeniality. Wait, what does that mean? Why? I'm not, I'm not real sure. I think it means like Why? friendly. <laughs> Why am I Miss Congeniality? She's been at work all day. She's a little grumpy. I am grumpy. But I. He keeps telling me to quit. I brought her all these stone crabs and she's still grumpy. Look what I got. That's a good one. Yeah. Dip and the these mustard. are all the stone crabs that me and Harold got today. Hey, get out of here, mullet. But <laughs> it's nice. It's feeling like fall. We're eating out on the porch, partly because it makes a mess. <laughs> sure. But I have the mustard sauce. Mm -hmm. and melted butter with lime in it you already know how we go things. but what do you think is better the mustard or the butter i haven't even tried some with the butter yet i've only been eating the mustard do you like the mustard i do like the mustard last time i made the mustard she's like why don't we make this all the time i'm mm -hmm. like i don't know i thought we were a butter family i don't know the butter's good too it's hard to pick See, but I just you, like double dip. Dip, like, dip. You think dip. that stone crab isn't as good as blue it's crab. It's not my favorite. Which is incorrect. Excuse me. What are you doing right now? You just, you don't look over here. <laughs> All right, Ian, another question for you. Uh, hopefully, you're answering these all at the end of the video because you know I'm going to throw questions at you. Uh, 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 have you ever put garlic in there with your lime? Garlic, lime, and butter. For I mean, make a garlic butter and then squeeze lime into it. Uh, 
I'm I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, me. He, th um, he thinks he's allowed to just get on the picnic table because we're outside. That... No, not my... Oh. Don't try to steal my crab. I See that? trying to give me the crab. She went in. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. It's as big as Mullet's head. Well, like a brimpelay. Like... So... See this? See, mm -hmm. see how I'm flicking it right there? That's what you want. You know, hold it in the palm of your hand like uh -huh. this. You don't want to hold it like this. Right. Hold it in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. And this is a big one. Whack Give it. it a smack. Just like that. Mm. Turn it over. And you want to make sure you get a crack like right in this area. Uh -huh. Just like that, right? I'm in the splash zone. That's why we're outside, babe. <laughs> And you wanted to eat inside. I knew it was a bad idea. It's supposed to look like this. Then you take that. And you dip it. Dip it in your butter. And there's a little membrane in there. Mm -hmm. You don't want to eat that. So part. you bite down and pull with your teeth. And leave you that piece. You don't want to eat that. Mm. The first stone crab of the season. Today was opening morning. Opening day. These crabs were in the water this morning, and I'm telling you, it really don't get much better. We we'll do a little mustard. Mm. That is amazing, dude. I gotta come see you, Ian. Everybody always goes for the claw, but that little chunk that comes out of the knuckle is mighty fine too. It is real good. Mm. I'd say conservatively five hundred dollars worth of stone crabs. Would you say? What would you say? Huh? Yeah. Like, that's a lot of money in stone crabs right there. I don't know how much are they this year per pound. Do you know yet? It's the first day of season. I there's no way I could know. I don't know. Um, but they will be, I'm sure, in seafood counters tomorrow morning. That's what I'm saying. They're that. I hope you guys expensive. enjoyed this one. If you want to go out and catch your own stone crabs, get in touch with Harold, Wishard Wire, get you some traps, and you saw exactly how we did it, go do it. Just stay out of my spots. I see your buoys in my spots now. See you on the next one. Bye, Crystal. Ian literally just heard the ice cream truck go by and he flagged him down. Wait, Ian's my made. kind of dude. Ice cream man. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? I'm great, man. Um, I got you a hey. Powerpuff Girls with the gumballs. Oh, perfect. Will you pick up my package that the mailman just threw in the driveway? Where your money goes. <laughs> and I got the chocolate eclair bars. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a cool video. Uh, Ian, sorry. Uh, jump in the comment section. You got some... Uh, questions that I threw, dappled throughout the video. Awesome video. I've never had stone crab in my life, but it is on my bucket list now. Folks, if y'all stayed this long, uh, please consider giving me a like on this video. It truly helps the channel because it drives more traffic to me. I'm a new little bitty YouTube dude. I'm a small channel. Um, Ian is just living the large life uh but still make sure that you go over and subscribe to his channel he's the original content creator of this video and yes i'm envious and ian uh i've, I've got to start looking up hotels in saint augustine i've got to come see you dude uh i really want to get out and play on these waters so, folks, thanks for watching the video. Again, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Don't y'all hesitate at shooting a comment, positive comment at me, asking questions. I'm more than willing to answer them. And check out the description of the video where you will find a link to the Wisher Wire uh, Crab Traps and you'll find a link to uh, Tug Trash Outdoors. Uh, you need to make sure that you join. Uh, those two channels. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a great week. God bless. And don't forget to vote. That's it. Don't care who you're voting for. Don't forget to exercise your right. You are a citizen.